Ladies and gentlemen and fellow enthusiasts, welcome once again to Hacker World Unlimited, where we're going to show you how to make walkie-talkie from less than 20 components. Let's go at it. This is the block diagram, basic block diagram. You have a transceiver A and a transceiver B. And this is how it works. Let's look closely. There's an audio source or an audio transducer to one of to one of the for, to each actually to each of the transceivers okay so the signal goes in through one path through the in path and the signal comes out through the rf path it goes through the air interface to the receiver to the other transceiver the signal is received from the tr transceiver and goes out through the audio transducer this is pretty much how your walkie-talkie works. So let's look at the extended block diagram and then we'll come and look at the schematic diagram. This is the extended block diagram. So I'm just taking one of the transceivers and splitting it out so you can see what is made up of. For each of the transceivers you have, there, you have a transceiver and an audio amplifier. So let's take for instance, we want to transmit some, something. So let's take the transmit path. We start from the audio transducer. We send a signal in by speaking into the audio transducer. So we're going to follow the TX path. The signal goes in through the TX path into the audio amplifier. The audio amplifier amplifies this signal and we get an output through the output of the audio amplifier. This output goes through the, the TX path again to the input of the trans of the transceiver circuit itself now remember we're following the tx path and it goes out th through the tx path again to the antenna and this antenna radiates the signal through the a interface to the receiver now assume this same block diagram is for the receiver because it is for the receiver as well the signal hits the antenna and now we're going to trace the rx path at this time, your receiving walkie-talkie is configured or is set to the receive path. By default, it should be to the receive path. Now, the signal goes through the receive path, and we call the receive path the RX path. So, let's look at the RX path. Now, this transceiver, the signal, the in, input path of the transceiver is connected to the RX path. So everything is switched to the RX path now. Signal comes in through the antenna, through the RX path, goes into the tr to the transceiver, which is now functioning as a receiver. The signal comes out and follows the RX path. Through the RX, RX path of the audio amplifier, the signal is amplified. It goes out through the RX path into the audio transducer. And now we can hear the audio. So the transmission is complete. So this is what how your walkie-talkie works. Now, let's look at the circuit diagram, the schematic diagram. So, here is an our audio transducer. It's a, just a basic speaker, 8 ohm speaker, 4 ohm speaker, 0 0.5 watts, that will be fine, 0 0.25 watts, that will be fine as well. An antenna, just ordinary wire, will serve for this purpose. The transceiver circuit is the same that we use in the Hacker World One Transistor FM receiver. If you if you can repl rep reproduce that circuit, that's all you need here. Except there's a little caveat here. We're going to talk about it. This portion here, we didn't give the, the values of the components here. There is a reason for that. But you can reproduce exactly what we have in the Hacker World One Transistor FM receiver, and you will be fine as well. Right here is the audio amplifier circuit. This is the same amplifier we have in the Hacker World one transistor pre-amplifier or sorry Hacker World pre-amplifier for one transistor. This circuit diagram should be this this pre-amplifier here or this amplifier circuit you will be fine as well. Now let's look at um, this portion here called F asterisk. And why do we call it F asterisk? Let's look at here. 
That is the frequency of your transceiver. To determine the frequency, it's 1 over 2 pi square root of LC. Now, I would like you to design this system to work around 25 mega, 27 megahertz. This is a free uh, frequency band for enthusiasts, so you don't have, uh, you don't um, violate the FCC regulations. Now, choose a value of L and calculate your C, or choose a value of C and calculate your L, and then when you use these two values, for this 27 megahertz, you will be fine. Remember, you have to build everything in duplicate. You have to build the transceive, transceiver A and transceiver B as duplicates. And then by default, it should allow your system to be in the receive path always. Now let's look here again. There are four switches. There's one, there's a one, there's one switch here, a second switch, a third switch, and a fourth switch. And each switch has three terminals. Three, 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 and one, two, three, and three, four trees. That will be 12 um, trees. So your, your switch should have 12, 12 pins. Connect the RS path of your switch to the normally closed pins. This ensures that your transceiver is always ready to receive at all times. You will only switch to transmit path when you want to really transmit something. All right, thank you. That is the video right, right there for you. I want you to make your own video and uh, uh, make this, try to reproduce the circuit diagram and um, let us know if you have any questions and we'll help you to answer it. This particular circuit is made with love and to our dear friend who is a sus subscriber to our channel, the Ninja, Ninja X Kid. Is that how you say your name? All right, the Ninja X Kid. Um, thank you for your patience. You've asked us to make this video for quite some time and we're just making it right now. Um, I hope this helps you to achieve what you want to do. If you have questions, please contact us. I've made some other videos for other people as well. I've made some other circuits, sorry, I've made some other circuits for other people, drawn it and, you know, given it to them and they've built it and it's working what fine for them. So I believe this is going to work for you as well. If you have any questions or if other people have questions, please feel free to contact us. Again, this is Hacker World Unlimited coming to you all the way from Canada. Thanks and bye. See you next time. Please subscribe to our video. Ask your questions, I'll be glad to help.